We were all in Yes Logo class and we had this surprise project that was going to take up the bulk of the class. The attitude thing is the first thing I've ever made. It was so crazy. Look, there's an opportunity if we can pull something together in the next three days uh, and, <laughs> and we present an alternative, um, they'll consider it. You take foundation graphic design with me, you think the first class will be on, you know, some reading, a classic books or on the layout or on the grids. Uh, actually, I started the class with, okay, now, here's the brief from our first client. Not a single thing I did in that class. I've done before or like thought about doing before. Every single project and assignment legitimately freaked me out. When he's like, cool, now make a logo. I'm like, how? What? Me? I'm, I don't know anything. How do I do any of this? So I came to NYU AD wanting to be a journalist. Then I took this graphic design course. During that class, we made a lot of posters for like theater performances that were happening on campus. And I just really liked the process of using colors and typefaces and images to communicate an idea. After a few weeks into my first class, which was Wayfinding, I just feel like I wore these set of lenses that I can no longer take off. Like, I just see the world from like a very critical design point of view that is just very, very interesting. Like, I remember that shift in perspective. I had a phenomenal brief with students where I explained them pretty much my idea of creating a sense of engagement for students within the music technology field. A couple of weeks after that, they called me in, showing me the outcome of their work, and it was pretty much spectacular. I felt very overwhelmed in a positive way with such a great enthusiasm in making my ideas true. It was pretty exciting at the beginning because we were we were also new to design and we just wanted to do everything. And it was like, we all kind of fed off each other. We're like, oh, I found this like problematic thing. Like, let's go fix it. Visual design, it just happened. Oh, can I have this? Can we do this? Why don't we do this? Students taking my class then felt empowered to somehow, sometimes even correct communication. When we arrived here, we had this beautiful visual identity that did not include any Arabic signature. So the first appearance of an Arabic signature, let's say a NYUAD Arabic logo, so to speak, happened because of a student intervention. I think my favorite was redesigning the signage for the shuttle buses. We worked on creating a whole system of signage that would make it a lot easier to figure out what times the buses were leaving and coming back. I think that was the first time that I realized how good design can really impact the way you go through your day. And that was a like a big revelation for me. <laughs> when we moved to Stadia, we got a new art center that housed like all the theaters and music classes and uh, visual arts classes. But all the hallways looked the same, and people were getting lost. So the whole wayfinding class was about trying to design a way for people to navigate that art center more clearly. It's not just about making posters. It's a whole way of looking at how we live and how the environments around us and all these things like shape the way that we live, especially on campus. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome New York University Abu Dhabi's 2014 graduating class. When the first graduation class came in 2014, there was some discussion. Okay, shall we do a replica of the NYU torch? Or can we do an original? Shall we commission to an artist? Like how to bring it here and incorporate it into this commencement. Gafredo seized on that and saw the opportunity for us to define ourselves. As President Sexton confers the degrees, the torch will be passed from Musba, a member of the graduating class, to Christy, a member of class of 2015. I think we were all really inspired by that idea of having this really iconic way of establishing ourselves. There's something about being able to rally around one um, sort of logo that brings us all together. 
I did not ever expect the Falcon to really become what it has become on this campus. When we made it, it was it felt very much like a fun grassroots kind of thing. We're like, let's make ourselves a mascot. Now it's become much bigger. It defines to a large extent who we are. We're the Desert Falcons. January 2019, I decide, okay, maybe it's time for a retrospective. As a celebration, first of all, to acknowledge, you know, okay, this design has happened here. It's really nice that we have a design exhibition because you see it everywhere, right? But now you see all the good design in one place, you actually see that, okay, this is actually improving our campus and giving us, you know, some kind of identity. The Falcon is not the product of an external agency, it's the product of a student, the torch, Marab identity, you name it, and all the theater posters, the music posters. I think that to a certain extent because I helped curating, but so many of these things happened before I was even a part of NYU Abu Dhabi. I think it was a really interesting experience to be able to see the evolution and all of the things that have happened, as well as understanding how different it was to like, live in Sama from the design that we have now. And I, I guess that that's just a testament to how we have evolved as an institution. Attitude is the dance group at NYU Abu Dhabi. This is quite possibly one of my favorite pieces of all the show. Van Hanbui designed these posters. There's just typography, but they're so evocative. And I think what makes my work for Attitude, the works I'm most proud of, is because I dance as well. So whatever I make for Attitude, it comes really natural. It's not like I have to make this person happy. I have to make it look like dance. Like, I have to make it look like dance to me. Yes, logo is very much like, um, it's like pushing you in the water to like teach you how to swim. The responsibility of creating something for the space agency, it was intense because we had like, we had to produce something, something that's going to be put on a satellite, something that's going to be put in space. had this client, which was uh, Emirates Nature from WWF, and they needed an entire redesigned logo. We were really fascinated by what ecosystems encompassed all of Emirates Nature, not just a single animal. So I chose a mangrove design, and then I also chose these wadi, mountainous, stony landscapes, and I displayed them in a presentation, and someone mentioned this looks like a fingerprint if you look at it in a certain way. And so from there, we took this wadi fingerprint and embedded an, a mangrove tree into it. And then it became this all-encompassing fingerprint of our responsibility, how much of an impact we have on the environments here. After making sketches and all that, we pitched preliminary designs to the Board of Emirates Nature. It was a really humbling experience, and it's awesome to just know that one of our designs from that class is actually in use across the country. Students today come to this building with an idea for a film, for a sculpture, for a performance. And if they have the courage to walk into one of the studios or the workshops, the labs, and share their idea with our faculty and instructors, they then can learn how to actually realize them. I think it's a very humble thing to do. Art in some way is so, I have an idea in my mind and I'm gonna put it out there and if people understand it or not, I don't care. I, I have a say. Then in design it's very, you have to answer a set of questions that you can use your own personal expression, but then it has to solve the problem for other people. I'm really proud of the fact that NYUAD is already establishing itself as the place to look for cool design happening. I think people don't realize how much of the visual 
environment around us has been designed here at NYUAD. You know, it's something people don't think about where it comes from, and it's really exciting that it came from here.